Good afternoon, Miss Kathy Grace. Okay, Miss Kathy Grace, can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I am Kathy Grace Caminato, uh, 29 years old, from uh, Santiago, Isabella. Uh, I have a course I want to apply as a document in Malaysia. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? How are you qualified for this job? May I know what is your education level is? What is your recent working experience? Okay, Miss Kathy, what was your recent working experience? Okay, have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell the place and how many years and months you worked for? Okay, so how many months and years you worked for? Uh, two weeks and two months. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby or children you are taking care of? Yeah. Okay, so whose baby or children you are taking care of? Pardon, uh, Miss Kathy, can you please louder your voice? Whose children or whose baby you are taking care of? Uh, the baby for my madam. Okay. So how old is the baby of your employer? Uh, uh, youngest is only seven months. Seven months, okay. What about elder or older people? Do you have the experience? No, madam. But are you willing to take care? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Kathy, uh, I just want to double confirm. The baby of your employer is how old again? Seven months. Ma Seven months that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, I look up to wash clothes. Uh, I can clean the house. Uh, I know how to cook. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. No problem. Okay. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, madam. Can you tell me what are those Filipino food that you can cook? Like the dogo, the Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? From all the house chores or household works like cooking, cleaning, ironing, and washing, which do you like most? Uh, washing, washing, iron, cooking, care of the baby, uh, cleaning the house, uh, cooking, uh, cleaning the uh, house, washing. 
Okay. If ever you are selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Miss Kathy, can you please answer the question? You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing, abusing your handphone and it's affected your work for four months, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Kathy, can you please louder your voice, Kathy? Okay, how can how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Okay, can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation or surgery? No. Are you medically fit? Kathy, are you medically fit? Okay, so are you medically fit? Are you in any medication? No. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Okay. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Pardon again? So you are afraid of what type of dog? Uh, I mean dog or cat? The dog is biting. Okay, so you are afraid of dogs. Only dogs? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But are you still willing, willing to take care of dog? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Miss Kathy Grace, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? 
Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? Kat, can you please uh, louder your voice? Okay, because uh, you have contract, right? So no matter what happened to the family, you are not also allowed to go home. Okay, so of course you have to finish the contract. Are you willing to continue? I mean, uh, yeah, willing to work until you finish your contract? Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, me, I am going to work as a domestic helper to support my family, for my baby, for my sister, brothers, and uh, I, I will do everything to do my job. Okay, Miss Kathy Grace, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Um, okay, uh, sir, ma'am, uh, if you choose me as a uh, uh, I will promise that I will do my best to do my job well. And I will take care of your children if you have uh, children. I will clean your house. Um, I will follow on your instruction about my uh, work. Um, I will be nice to you in your family. Um, that's only. Thank you very much, Ms. Kathy Grace. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer.